Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. You probably expect another creaking video, but that one we have to wait. And instead, today's topic will be connect for bot. This time, instead of just showcasing the build, I will try to explain how everything works step by step, and at the end I will challenge some people to play against this bot. Also, I was very surprised that a lot of people don't really know what connect for is, so here's a quick explanation. In Connect 4, two players alternate turns placing checkers in one of the seven non-full columns. A checker lands in the lowest spot on the board, and to win, a player must have four connected checkers in vertical, horizontal or diagonal pattern. That's it. Now let's see the interface. I will make a random move and you will see a blue checker fall down. On top there is a timer that shows you how long you have to wait for the bot to make a move, and it takes around 10 seconds. On my right, there is a wind detection lamp, your turn indicator, a score barrel, and a reset button. Now that the bot has placed its tracker, I will fast forward. Now the bot has to block or else I will win. Now the bot will play in this spot and win. And as you can see, there is a red concrete in the barrel. After the game is over, you can simply reset the board. The concrete will fall down and it will be pushed over to this slime launcher and it will go up to this concrete solder and then it will be put in the corresponding side. Let's see what happens when you make a move. So everything starts with this button panel and depending on which one you pick it will generate a different signal strength here and this signal will go up to the concrete powder and down here. From here the signal goes there to the red coder and from here it powers this circuit which remembers the signal strength it was inputted with and for example here I will input a move and you can see here is 14, but if I make a move now, it will remember it as 13. Each move also changes a position of this composter. So here, the composter was up, so it saved signal strength 14. And here, the composter is down, and it saves signal strength 13. Here, for each saved cell, it will lock itself and it will unlock the cell above. Also, this is what the circuit that determines which line should be on looks like. So here we subtract some signal strength depending on the layer it's on. And here for signal strength 2, you can see the right line is on. For signal strength 1, the left one is on. And for 0, none are on. Now that we know how a move is saved and how it knows whose move it is, let's check how the wind detection circuit works. And this is basically this white big circuit here. This is a simple example for horizontal wind detection for a player 1. And as you can see, player 1 has torches on side of the lanes and everything works on signal strength. So if I power those four lines, you will see this lamp will turn on, indicating there is a wind. And with a bit different setup, you can also detect vertical win and a diagonal win. Now that you know how we can detect a win, I can start explaining how this bot works and makes it move. And there are a few priority levels for each type of move, and those are book moves, winning moves for the bot, blocking moves that are winning for a player, moves that are under a pattern line, moves that are decided by a randomness with a given priority, and lastly, forced moves that are leading to a loss. Book moves are saved in this green circuit, and what it does, it, it makes sure that a first move from a bot will always be in the middle, unless a player there is first, and then it will play to the side. This is a slice of next move win detection system, and it works by simulating a bot's move in each of the columns, and in this example, it's column one. And as you will see, if I place three moves like this, 
this will simulate the move here and mark this move as a win. And if any tracker is put into this column, for example, the enemy, it will move the simulation up one layer. As I said, the simulation is done for each of the columns. You can see there is a diagonal line of the simulation pattern. And when there is a winning move detected, it gets put onto this line. And here it gets encoded into a signal strength. So for this one is 15, 14, 13, and so on. Third priority level is blocking enemy winning moves and it's done by this circuit. The biggest difference between those two is wool color and the fact that the input is inversed, meaning that it simulates player moves instead of bot moves. Next priority level is hidden in this circuit and what it does is it makes sure that if this line is powered, you cannot move above this line and that means that the bot will never move on this line so it has to fill the whole thing under it and only then it can make a move for example here. Next after the line check there is this part and what it does is it has a priority for each of the columns as shown here and at this stage the bot will make a non-losing move that's also legal meaning if a column is not full this torch will be powered off unlocking this comparator and letting the priority go forward and first we take the highest priority then one lower and one lower and what move is picked depends on those randomizers and there is 50% chance for the highest priority move to be picked 25 for one lower and 25 for another one here is another big circuit and it does exactly the same thing as this red one except it also simulates another bot move so here you can see there is this redstone block that powers this bot line and whenever there is a move on the line this redstone will go up by one and from this circuit the signal will go here and this will help the bot pick a non-losing move and that's all the things that make the bot pick a move let's also check some smaller things that are around this display part first there is this circuit which stores falling blocks and it's made by Fedelicious and Melody479. Uh, I found it on YouTube and there is a link to that video in the description. So go check it out for explanation on how it works. Next there is this timer and it has input from this clock that makes sure that the bot has enough time to think. And since there are only 7 lamps, I decided to use this signal term divider. This divider with for example signal term 14 will slowly go down to 7 and this is done in two parts. First, there is this part which will oscillate between 0 and 14 and that's because 14 minus 14 for this comparator is 0 but also this part will make sure that here redstone is one power lower than here so it will be 14, 14, 13 and 13 minus 14 is 1 and this will make sure that it gets propagated here and will go 13 to 12 and so on and so on. And now after looking at all the interesting redstone, let's look at some guest games. Hi! Hi NASA, how are you? Hello, uh, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just... I don't know much about this thing you've said you're going to show me. You have your <laughs> interface. Yeah, the explanation. You have your interface right here. You have your... Right turn indicator, you have a bar with a score, I will have to put that back. Here's your bot timer, so how long you have what? to wait for a move. I guess it's like oh. 10 seconds. Okay, I mean that's pretty good if it's 10 seconds, that's real good. So this just completely, how good is it? I guess we'll find out. Uh, it's pretty good, I would say. Uh, Ooh. It, <laughs> It won with most of my friends. Uh, That's pretty good. It's losing with me because I know how it works. Uh, yeah, so... like you've got the secret. You got, you know how yeah, it works. I have well, I'm the... like a, I'm a little rat. I don't know how this works. I'm a lab rat for you. Yeah. So do I just click a button and that's like my move? Yep. Okay, well, I'm going to do the classics. Straight in the middle. Oh, okay. Ooh. And then, so... When that ticks down, the bot decides it on its move. Yeah. 
is that like just like a progress bar of its calculation or uh it's just the timer all oh, right okay oh he's gone there i don't even want to like figure out how this works this <laughs> yeah you should just Does play it... like you roll I, yeah this is this is impressive already uh okay i'm gonna stack it see how it how does it deal with that uh mr robot where's it going oh, oh. okay I, I really don't want to lose to a robot that's would be real embarrassing yeah i mean it's not that bad honestly I, the biggest problem i saw for now for players uh is like they struggle to see like the concrete borders because it's like a very uniform block oh yes yeah they just miss I had a similar game where that had a sort of issue. It's gonna go there. I know it. It's gonna go at number six. <gasps> Ooh, it did. Oh no! I see what it's doing. It's trying to. It's trying to set up a connect four. Oh, I gotta stop him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> God. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go here again. Let's see if I can figure out that it has to stop me. Does it know? Oh, it does. It does know. Ah! Yeah. It oh. And look, it's got three there. Okay, right. Gotta stop that. <laughs> I'm, at, I'm having fun. This is good. <laughs> this yeah. is really... This is seriously impressive. This is... I had a lot, of, a lot of fun making this and playing around with it. So the algorithm the machine uses, is this something you've come up with to work with Minecraft? Or have you adapted a pre-existing algorithm? Uh, yeah, I had, I had basically adapted, like, uh, oh, okay. basic move search. Mm, mm, this is tricky. Oh, 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 I gotta stop him. I didn't even realize. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got three here. So if I place that there, he'll just block me. Oh, and then he'll get a connect four. Uh... Hmm. Well, if I, I can go here. If I can bait him to go here... Or here, I'll win. I... <laughs> That's true. If I can Wait. bait a computer to do something. Can it think two moves ahead? Like, will it know that it will uh, accidentally give me a win? <gasps> oh my god, no! No, don't, no! <laughs> no! No, I, no! No! <laughs> no! I think you messed no. up. <laughs> so embarrassing! I can't... Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, no! Okay. No, I can't! No! <laughs> no, I can't believe that! Oh no, this is. I... Oh, you're running out of concrete. I gotta, gotta restock it. No, 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 no. It's... Oh, oh no! Yeah. Oh. It... Am I not supposed to do that? No, you can press the button. Oh! Oh, of course! Oh, you, that is magnificent. Oh, look at this, go! You see, you know what I did there? I just presumed this is like one of my machines where I've been lazy with it. Yeah, I really wanted to, like, to make it reset itself since it's uh, like a bot. It would be like, yeah, no. awful to do it yourself. This, uh, this is really cool. This is, this is really, really cool. I'm like... This is great. This is really... <laughs> so, I'm just curious. How, where does it store the memory state of the board? And this is like the place where the move is picked. So, if there is a winning move, then obviously it overrides the blocking the winning Red, move. Yeah. Because you want to win the game, not to block your yeah, enemy from making the best move. Compared to that, yeah. I'm yeah. not good at ex explaining stuff. <laughs> I mean, generally, I feel like I've got a good overview of how it works. Like, I'm sure there's more minutia I'm not, like, I couldn't even begin to get into, but I do get the general concept of it and how it's how it's calculating it. And, like, the fact that you've added, like, little opening moves and, uh, like, what each circuit does. I mean, look, it's obviously good. It beat me. It beat me at the game. <laughs> yes. So that's gonna account for something. You can you can have a revenge if you yeah. want. So the player doesn't always start. 
you said that sometimes the machine starts? It alternates, yeah. You know, I know one way to win. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe... You know, because if I go there, he's just going to go there. I mean, he might go there next time. Uh... Ah, oh, Nightmare. Uh... I think I'll go there because then he might he might see a three and then he <laughs> don't do it don't do it D don't you go at row three don't do it come on oh Ooh. okay that's good I really don't want to lose again that would be so embarrassing well he has to go there like, he circuits right now. That red circuit is going, you have to move here. Priority number two. Yeah, yeah, well done. Where do I go? <laughs> Where do I go? I'm going to go here. Boom. I keep stressing. Whenever I make a move, I feel like I'm just going to turn around and suddenly he's got a four in a row. Which <laughs> I just didn't see like last time. If I go here, he goes there. If I block that preemptively. I go here, he goes there, I go there. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. I'm I'm working on a plan. <laughs> I'm thinking three moves ahead. Stupid robot can't do that. Uh I wanted to make what's called uh Evaluation function? Like, make a rough estimation of who's winning. Yeah. Like, for example, who has more free in a row, right? This is better situation for the person who has more, right? Yeah.